Ryan, thank you for sitting down with me. What's it been like for you since this scandal about your alleged robbery in Rio broke? Well, you know, since everything that's happened, I kind of been laying low. No, oh, if you want to lay low, television is the best place to do that. <laughs> now, I want to give you a chance to clear up some things. You gave an interview with Billy Bush where you claimed that while you were at a gas station in Rio, a gun was put to your forehead and cocked, and you were robbed. Now you're saying that didn't happen? That didn't happen, and that's why I over-exaggerated that part. That part. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, that part is really the whole part. Without a gun cocked at your forehead, it's really just a story about some guys urinating on a gas station. How could you get that so wrong? I was intoxicated. Okay, but on Sunday, when you told that story to Billy Bush, it was hours after the incident. I was still intoxicated. Okay. But then on Wednesday, you told Matt Lauer again that you were robbed. That was another three days later. I was very intoxicated. Ryan, are you intoxicated right now? Anything? Any reaction at all? Get it? Let me ask you this, Ryan. Do you know what a gun is? I do not. I can't answer that. Is this a gun? Is this a gun to you? I, I don't know at all. Now, there's talk about banning you from swimming over this. Let's say you're given a second chance. Describe for me, describe for the audience, the Ryan Lochte we can expect to see at the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. Intoxicated. Fair enough. It's the late show.